In this lesson, we'll update a CAM program with model changes. After completing this lesson, you'll be able to update a parametric feature and use Generate Toolpath. The next thing that we want to do is we want to make some parametric updates to our model and see how our toolpaths update. So back in the model workspace, let's adjust a few things. We'll start by selecting the chamfer on the screen and we'll adjust its value. If we set this to two millimeters, notice that we get an error. But if we adjust it to one and a half, it starts to blend into this fillet. So we're gonna set this to 1.25 and say okay. We also want to adjust the radius value on the external fillet of the propeller. So notice that this operation comes into the combine. But if we traverse back through the timeline, we can see that fillet one is the fillet that adjusts this radius value. We're gonna make this a little larger at three millimeters and say okay. So now that we've made some adjustments, let's go back into the CAM workspace and notice that all the toolpaths need to generate. You can hit Control G or select Setup 2 and generate all of them at once, or you can select them individually and simply generate each toolpath at a time to make sure that we don't run into any issues. So the Adaptive 1 updates perfectly fine. We'll go ahead and update Pattern. Everything is updating there. You can see it's calculating. We can update Swarf at the same time. We can update the multi-axis contour. And finally, we can update Flow. Now remember, at the end, we set flow back to 25 passes, so that way we reduce the processing time needed for that operation. So with everything updated, let's go ahead and select Setup 2 and run through a simulation. We're gonna jump ahead past the first one, make sure everything updates fine, jump ahead past the second operation. Some of the things that we're looking for are red vertical lines in the timeline here, those are gonna signify that we have a collision with one of our operations. Everything updates fine with the pattern. We have an updated SWARF, multi-axis contour, and finally our flow operation. But remember again that the flow has been reduced to 25 passes, so we're not actually cutting a fine surface finish here. With everything updated, we can close and we can save our file. 